Hey guys, Phil Swart here from Creative Effects. I've got a simple technique for you today. What we're going to do is match the brightness and flashing sort of colors in Nuke. So the example I have for you is here. So I've just gone on and shot this just to sort of show you an example. So as you can see, here's a shot with loads of flashing lights and different colors in the flashes as well. And let's say now that you, you sort of want to remove this tripod just to create a clean plate which incorporates the flashing. So if I just show you this. So now you go out and you've got your clean plate. And you've got the original plate here. But obviously your clean plate won't have any of these flashes. So if you go and do a rough roto here just to select this area to bring your clean plate through. Let's just play that. You can see that your clean plate won't include any of the flashes. Hope you can see that on the recording. So everywhere else around the clean plate is flashing and the area in the middle that you've rotated out from the clean plate has not got any of the sort of color differences or flashing lights. And I'd like to show you a way using a custom node that I'm going to show you how to build. And it will just sort of simplify this process. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is create the node. Here's one I created before. But if you push tab and just type in add and click on add math. Okay, so if you double click that. First of all, what we want to do is just click over here on the Add tab. Just change the channels just to affect the RGB. And if we right click at the top here, and we click on Manage User Knobs. And if we click Add, and just click on RGBA Color Knob. We'll just name this one In Color. And we'll just label it the same. So I'll just do that again. OK. Just click OK. We'll add another one, RGBA color knob. And we'll call this one out color. OK, just like that. We'll click OK. And now we'll just click on Done. And what we want to do now is just click on the Add tab again. And on the value here, we're just going to click on this 4, just so it opens up the RGB and Alpha values. And if we right-click just on the side here, and click on Edit Expression, and I'm just going to write in here Out Color minus In Color. So essentially what that's going to do is we're going to put a, an In Color and Out Color here, and it's going to work out the difference and then it's going to add that to our patch or whatever that we you know we wanted to add to okay so the way we're going to do this now we can sort of label this whatever we want so i'm just going to call it color match 2 because i've already named one color match okay And then what I'm going to do now is create a crop and attach the crop to the original plate. Okay, so if I just look at the plate here, you can see that I've got a crop node. So if I just drag this crop, if I just sort of scrub through, and you can see where the flashes happen. I'm just going to do this somewhere just on the side here for this example. And now if we look at the crop and we just click on reformat, it's going to sort of reformat to fill the crop or to use the crop to reformat. And now if we type tab or push tab and type in curve tool, we connect that and we look at the curve tool. Just click on the curve tool tab at the top and just click here to on sort of on the go button next to average intensities 
and that's going to go through the frame range that you put in here and it's just going to analyze the average intensity level and that's going to do that for the red green blue and alpha channel we'll just let that finish okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the crop from here and paste that into our patch so if you look at that we've got the same thing once again we're going to put another curve tool underneath and once again click on the average intensities and it's going to go through that obviously for the patch there won't be any difference because it's all the same okay once that's finished what we'll do now is click on the node we've just created so the color match we'll just bring that up on the side here so that's our color match here and I'm first of all going to go to the patch and click on the curve tool of the patch and then now just click on the intensity data tab I'm going to hold down shift and click here we'll first go to the user tab under color match and now shift click and drag to the side here just to copy the data to the in color if I just close that down for the curve tool and do the same with the original plate okay so what that's going to do now is it's going to work out the difference between them and it's going to put that in the value here so what we can do now is with the node setup I've got if I apply this to the clean plate, if I just look at the clean plate here, then I look at it here after the color match node we created, you can see it takes on the flashing. So now if you go and look down here after the roto is keeping back the original you can see it will be a lot closer so if I play now it should keep the flashes just full screen that now you can see that as it's playing through it's matching the flashes and the color by looking at the original scan and the patch and working out the difference between the two now in this example I've just done it really rough with a, quite a large roto and I've only done it with one you know analyzing one small area but what, what you probably would want to do with a shot is analyze for example in the small area and only apply that to a small section here of the clean plate and then go through and analyze areas of the plate you know just sort of different areas and apply it using roto and a key mix node and then you'll basically be able to you know match the colors and match the intensity quite nicely so I'm just going to try and play through a smaller bit for you here as you can see it now matches with the flashes so it's just a very quick example of how to do a very crude demonstration but it's just another technique that you can use and hopefully it'll help you out thanks for watching guys please leave your comments below be sure to follow us on Twitter and the Facebook fan page. See you next time.